and the winner of the Avalor Science Fair is the Exer Groomer. We won! We won! Yeah! Oh. Congratulations! Here's your trophy and a box of Avaloran chocolate. Lisa, you did it! We all did this, so we should all share the prize. Keep the trophy. I'll take the chocolate. Isabel, I am so impressed with your work that I'd like to invite you to take my class at the Science Academy. You want me to go to college? <laughs> Not college, just one class after school, one day a week. Interested? Yes! But only if my whole team can go too. Whoa, whoa, whoa. One school at a time for me. Yeah. yeah. Can you believe it, Elena? I'm going to college. Of course I can, Isa. When it comes to you, anything is possible. Putty, we're almost finished. Ah. I just need to put this bow on you. Hi, Pinky. Hi, Putty. Hi. Ah. Putty, where are you going? You need your bow. We'll help you, Pinky. Oh, Putty, it's bow time. I hope we didn't distract her, Pinky. Oh, please. Goats can't pay attention to anything for long. <laughs> They're very easily distracted. See, Drew, that's exactly the kind of information about goats that we need. Pinky, Drew's goat is missing. We could really use a goat expert on the case. Can you help us? <gasps> Me, your goat expert. I cannot believe I have dreamed of this day my whole entire life. Yes, the answer is yes. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Great. Let's head over to Drew's okay. house. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey. Guys, you coming? Sure, Mira. Just as soon as we get this bow on Putty. Giddy up, Putty. Put the bow on her, Chico. Put the bow on her. Come here, come here, come here. <laughs> Pinky. Thanks, Drew. Ah. Good girl. Mira, can I bring Putty with me, too? She knows a lot about goats. <laughs> Absolutely. Chalo, chalo, let's go. Namaste, Nani. Namaste, Beta. And after you brought the vegetables inside, I came back out and Banu was gone. Hmm. So if the gate was locked, how did Banu get out? Any thoughts, goat expert? Huh? Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> That's me. Yes. In order to figure out what happened, we need to think like a goat. That sounds hard. It's not hard at all. All we have to do is ask ourselves, if I were a goat, what would I do? What would I do? What would I do? If I were a goat, I think like a goat.
obsidian. Once upon a time, gravity pulled some plain, boring rocks way down underground to the super hot center of the Earth. They melted into lava and then boom! Squirted back up out of a volcano. When the lava cooled down, it turned into that. Wow, I guess volcanoes are nature's way of being fancy. Oh, nature can be very fancy. Take, for instance, that ancient sea creature you're standing on right now. A sea creature? Where? Uh, right here. This uh, young lady was a trilobite 270 million years ago, when all this was a great big ocean. How fascinating. Can you please hold my special rock for me, Grammy? Yes, of course. And there's an old arrowhead, probably from the Shawnee people who originally lived here. Oh, oh, oh yeah, tiny rock. You see that? <laughs> That's a meteorite. It fell from outer space. Like a falling star? Ooh la la. And an arrowhead and an ancient sea creature? Grandpa, these are truly exceptionally amazingly fancy. And I read a book about how to turn rocks into jewelry. Want to polish your obsidian into something fancy to wear? Jewelry? Wee oui, wee, oui, Grammy. I'd love to. Oh, Grammy and Poppy. I simply cannot allow you to leave. Oh, uh, don't worry, Pumpkin. It won't be long before we see our little rock star again. <laughs> <laughs> or our little bouncy bunny. Mom, Dad, train's not gonna wait. I promise I'll find more rocks and take pictures and send them to you. Bye bye. Au revoir. Bye, Sid. Bye, Faye. I'll we'll see you, Buggins. Bye, bye, girls. See you soon. Take care, girls. <sighs> you know what, Mom? Grammy and Poppy turned out to be fancy after all. Almost as fancy as rocks. <laughs> they sure did. Ha, 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 ha.